Hey, what's up everyone, NXM. I hope you're all doing great. It's almost Christmas, that's crazy. This year went so, so fast. I'm not sure if I'm the only one feeling this way, but this year went by so quickly. But that's not the subject for today's video. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, manga haul for the month of November. But before that, make sure you like and subscribe. It will help to grow my channel as well as the community. Because the reason why I created my YouTube channel in the first place was to share my journey with manga, talk about them as well as making recommendations for you, as well as getting recommendations from you. So make sure you like and subscribe. So the first thing I bought for a manga haul, I bought 20 Century Boy by Noeki Ozura. I bought Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, and Volume 5. So I don't think I have to introduce that manga to anyone. It's very well known, very, very popular. I actually finished volume one and I couldn't get enough. I love the way the story style, the pacing of it, um, the mystery, and as well, I love the flashback between the main character when they were young to now when they're adult and how those flashback help to tell the story. Um, I love this manga and I cannot wait to read more of it. Next, I bought Jagan. I bought from volume 2 to volume 11. I believe the whole story should stop at volume 13. You're goddamn right. And I cannot wait. Jagan is my favorite manga at the moment. It's very, very gory, a lot of blood everywhere, body parts flying all around the places, and as well, a lot of like sexual scene. If you know, you know. I love Jagan. I'm actually surprised that not many people actually know about it or talk about it. I'm actually thinking of making a video just about Jagan. Let me know in the comment section if that's something that you'd be into, but I can't recommend Jagan enough. Next, I bought volume 2 and volume 3 of I Am a Hero. It's a zombie manga. I love zombie story. I actually talk about this manga on my first YouTube video about horror manga. Uh, if you want to check it out and know a bit more about this manga, I would put a link to that video if you want to check it out. So next, I bought Demon Chat 21, volume 1 and volume 2. With those two volumes, that's the whole story, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know anything about this manga. The only thing I know, it's supposed to be a horror manga and it's always supposed to be quite trippy, as you can see at the back of those two volumes. But knowing myself, I love horror, so I just buy and I don't ask any question. So in the same category of horror manga that I don't know anything about, but still buy it, is Anamo for this. Anamo for this, same, I don't know anything about it. The only thing I know, is half of the manga is based on one story and the rest is like short story like Junji Ito. Apparently this manga is very very gore, there's a lot of like weird shit happening in this manga. So same, I love horror and I cannot wait to read that. So next I bought Playtest Volume 1 and Playtest Volume 2. With those two volumes, that's the whole story. As you can see they're quite thick, quite heavy uh, manga. But I actually already finished the whole story. I really enjoyed that manga. It was super easy to read. Not much happened in this manga, but it still was very chill, very cozy to read. And if you into space, you will love that manga. So next, I bought Bar Royal with this um, new edition that just came out. I don't think I have to introduce Bar Royal to anyone. Um, the movie was actually inspired by the manga. And I actually always wonder how good was the manga. I saw that one for a very good price, so I bought it and see how that go. So for the last two manga that I bought for the month of November, the first one's gonna be Kaiji Volume 1. I don't really know much about this manga. The only thing I know, it's very similar to Squid Game. And a lot of people say that the producer of Squid Game is actually heavily inspired by Kaiji. As well, I know that the um, art style is not the greatest, 
but the story is that good that you cannot forget about it. So I bought volume one and I will let you know if I like it. Okay, and so the last manga I bought for this manga haul, I bought the first volume of Vinet Saga. Once again, a very well-known um, series. It was very hard not to watch the first season on the Amazon Prime. I heard a lot of good things about this manga. I kind of want to read it and then watch the TV show because mm. I heard so many good things about the manga and the TV show mm. and I cannot wait to start it. So that's it. That was a manga haul for the month of November. I bought in total 24 volumes, so a small manga haul but so many good series that I cannot wait to get started. Let me know in the comments what you bought for the month of November. I will see you in the next video. Peace.